he's got the heat right you know in his hands it's right there he can see the win and he's just got to maintain that composure keep close to john john because you know john he can create a score on anything he might have a go right here boys here he goes florence with a nice looking little wall mikey let this one go and john already letting go of some decent moves and sharpening up his equipment as he moves through to the inside getting ready to release something special stalling for the barrel here and this wave is just reeling off so nicely and john now goes to the rail once again stalling grabbing that wall a medium-sized wave that could be converted into an excellent number expert tube riding that feels much better than his previous ride john pizel likes it his shaper there's ross he did look a little nervous but i think he's much more relieved after that because you know what mikey you thought there was almost two waves in that set, and there wasn't. It was that one wave, and that, I believe, is going to be enough to turn the seat. That was unbelievable. He had some big turns from the outset. You know, there's no doubting that he's in the same form that saw him go on to win the world title last year. He's just as sharp and performing under pressure here. Absolutely, and you know, the thing about this wave was it it stayed somewhat vertical all the way through the bank. It never had those flat spots. And again, this here, this barrel, is a nice addition to this wave. I know he wasn't super deep or anything like that, but it adds some variety to this, especially a turn like that where he really laid into it. I do feel that he's going to get the score and turn the heat. But Mikey's might has a chance. Well, a 6.61 required. And just the, the barrel ride into that hack, that was a, a really solid effort. We saw Kayo get a 7.5 earlier on for a really nice tube into a good carve. I mean, it's a different heat. The scale is adjusted at the beginning of, of each new heat, but we're waiting for the numbers to come through. John Florence with 40 seconds to go. Might just move into the lead. We're waiting on the numbers to come through. Mikey Wright, he could get an opportunity here too. 30 seconds remaining. This one's going to go right down to the wire. And Mikey's checking this wave out. It's starting to bowl up. Under the lip, take off. Can he make it? Is he locked in this thing? I don't think so. And he has taken a fall on the takeoff. Tried to get right under the lip. John Florence now trying to make sure of it. Mikey takes off once again, but he's too deep. Five seconds to go. Still no numbers finish. for John John's last ride. Radical finish. And John's coming in. Looks like he's uh, paddling over to shake hands. Stand by. Waiting on scores to come through. 6.61 required for Florence. Man, you start questioning like in your head. Reviewing in your head over and over. But I believe it's enough. Well, his previous ride was a 5.17, had three decent turns on it. That wave, it had four good turns. Barrel. It had a couple of tube rides. Woo-wee! And this will be a huge save for John John. Because he did have that fall on the air reverse. The numbers are coming through now. They're looking really good. And he will keep that yellow jersey for another day a 7.9 florence takes the win mikey wright had an opportunity at the end there but clippers he fell on the takeoff the clippers stay in the bathroom good job ronnie mikey wright a good performance but just couldn't get the job done in the end there is the big score for john the 7.9 that saw him move back into the lead what an effort that was fun to watch. Really, really fun. Epic. An epic battle. That's what you want from your wild cards. And your world champ. John Florence keeps his dreams alive. Oh, I have a big start here on the Gold Coast.